Hello again, it's Phil Thatch and I'm in my backyard today doing some uh, photography of really small and tiny wildflowers. It's funny, on the channel, I don't know if you've noticed, I seem to be bouncing back and forth between basically weed wildflowers that I find growing around my yard and the amazingly beautiful gardens at Gibbs Gardens. Well, today it is time for the weeds. And uh, you know, I seem to enjoy shooting the weeds almost as much as Gibbs Gardens. And I certainly enjoy not having to drive two hours one way to get here. Just walk out of the house and go to the backyard and here's the flowers. Last time I did this sort of photography, there was only some small purple flowers, but now a lot of other uh, weed type flowers have come up. And uh, there's one, this white flower is particularly beautiful. I managed to photograph this yard bunny with a 105 millimeter lens. I did it wide open at f2.8. I came around the house and there was the bunny. And you can see to the left of the bunny is an azalea bush, which will be featured later in this video. And behind the bunny are some bokefied white flowers, which will be featured later. I learned um, last week at Gibbs Gardens, just I kind of accidentally happened upon it that this lens, this 105 f2.8 f mount macro lens, uh, renders absolutely amazing bokeh at f8 while still having a really sharp subject with a fairly decent amount of depth of field. Before that I had kind of always shot at f11, which does well also, but f8, the, the background is just so much prettier while maintaining almost all the sharpness of the subject. So f8's my new trick with this lens. Here's a whole field of them. There's clover here, but these flowers are not from the clover. There are a couple of clover blooms here, but these flowers that I'm photographing are not clover. I took some photos of these last year and there was a lot of purple blooms. This year there's only a few purple, but I like the white blooms better. Look at the beautiful bokefied background in this shot with a really nice and sharp subject flower. I think this is a violet of some form and in the past, uh, last year I photographed these as well in my yard and I focused more on the purple streaks in the bottom petal of the flower but this year I've decided to focus more on the reproductive parts, the uh, working parts of the flower bloom there in the center and either way it turns out really beautifully. I also have this disaster of an azalea bush growing around the house, but I made a photograph of this area right here, which has a bud that's not even blooming yet, and this area here kind of juxtapositioned, and I thought it turned out pretty nice. This completely uncropped photograph may be my favorite photograph of the entire video of my poor, pitiful azalea bush that's been growing there at the corner of the house for years and years. I think I bought it in a quarter of a gallon pot for $2.25. I made a shot just now looking straight down at these tiny purple flowers. You can see how small they are. There's the Z50 and the 105 macro beside them. And I was looking straight down, there's really some beautiful light coming in from the side here. And F8 was too much. So I shot it at F4.5 and it came out pretty good. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with this photograph. There's parts of it that I think, man, that is super, really, really beautiful and cool and other parts I'm not as thrilled with. Look, there's a bug in the center of the main focus flower that's in focus. And this is the bloom of some sort of a, a wild strawberry that grows occasionally in my yard. I made a photograph one time of a mockingbird feeding its young the strawberries that bloom off of this sort of a vine, and it turned out okay. I had some shots of these extremely tiny flowers. And this flower, it's basically a weed, but I was able to get a low angle shot of it and make it look pretty beautiful. This flower is incredibly tiny. I mean, really, really tiny. It's a common chickweed or some form of chickweed, and you can't really tell how beautiful it is until you get really up close like this. Here's an example of how tiny it is. That is my index finger beside the flower and my finger absolutely dwarfs the entire bundle of flowers that has two blooms already on it and looks like three or four or five more coming. This is that weird daisy-like weed that was growing there at the edge of my yard under the back porch. 
And you know, I love daisies, so I had to make a photograph of this. That's gonna do it for me today. I love springtime uh, because there's so many opportunities to get your camera out and make some really pretty pictures without even leaving the house, uh, especially if you've been a little slacky about mowing the yard this spring. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.